good evening today we meet again I believe you have seen my previous video showing the, the testing the sound test of these uh, new input transformers so it is actually a permaloy 80 input transformers with OCC silver wire it is a 600 600 uh, input output impedance and maximum about 30 dBU it has copper and permaloy shield the core itself permaloy 80 EI core and silver wires OCC uh, wires so today we are gonna be testing it with my Quan Asylum this is device I purchased it quite some time ago they should be able to measure my EPO transformers frequency response quickly so without further ado let's try to test it and this is my ThinkPad X1 Yoga Gen 3 it's been there for like five years five to six years and still running very strong so the test method will be quite straightforward I'll be connecting the input of this uh, input transformers to the output of this one asylum like this so the output of this will go to the input of this uh, asylum. so I'll put thing like 1.5k resistor here as a load if you can see it because it's a bit small but it's a whole core h2 1.5 kilo ohms i'll be testing with some larger value letter but i think i just have this nearby in, in, in my in my stash bin so i just quickly put it here make it simple so let's quickly go to the test let me power up my my machine and launch the application Okay, now we have the application running here. Let's set up the input at 192 kilohertz and the stop frequency 120 and the response we aim like maybe minus 9 or maybe we increase to minus 10 and then FFT we set as 64k. This should be okay. And what else? Okay, let's start measuring here. Okay, we are seeing here. Maybe we need to enlarge the scale a bit. Uh, okay. This is like... We can see... Uh, sorry, let me adjust it a bit to make the scale easier to be red <laughs> okay so each line here we represent 1 db right so we can see here the frequency is kind of a minus 3 11 12 13 14 so we can see about 65k that is quite good assuming 1.5k load and we could see up to like 65 kilohertz at minus 3 and well it might reach like a minus 4 or 4.5 up to 80k so that's that's pretty excellent and around 20k here we can see it's just like minus half not even half maybe 0.4 db so consider pretty solid performance of these input transformers so yeah i'm quite happy with it so i think that's the quick look of the performance so maybe we can try one more with the higher uh, load value like maybe 100k to see if the number will change or not I quickly take a look on my stash bin and I can see the 100k resistor here 
think it should be okay we can quickly use these resistors and, and install in this right to see if the performance will change the process will be quite straightforward we'll be removing this resistors quickly Then let's install the new one. Let's install the new one. Okay. Should get the job done nice and clean here. Okay, let's test it again. Okay, let's set up this machine back again. We can put, we can configure again the same thing. Uh, the output of this quant loom goes to the input, and the output of this with 100k load move to the input. And let's fire up the software again. Start the recording. Okay, we are good to go. Request spawn, everything done. So run. Boom. Okay, we can see now minus three dB is still about sixty-five k, maybe slightly lower. Now we can see a minus 3 going to 62.50k Right, slight changes but not so much So it means that the performance of the response Might vary depends on your load impedance Right, but from 1.5k to 100k It's just like a uh, change by 2500Hz from 65k we saw earlier now move to 62.5 right so that, that's still a pretty good performance right normally most of the preamp or tube preamp input will be like 100 220k so you might be expecting still like 60k bandwidth right if you're connecting this transformer so yeah basically that's all we have for today so hope you enjoy the the video so again Although I like to hear the performance, but still we need to also technically aware on how or why a transformer is performing, not only from listening tests. So again, hope you enjoyed the video we have today. Talk to you again. See you again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.